Hi, my name is David Wallman with Guitar Control, and today I have a three note per string sequence that is a little unconventional in the sense that we're not going to use the same notes each time, the same value of notes each time. We're going to alternate 16th triplets with 16th notes. 16th triplets are six notes per beat, so if this is your beat, you've got six notes in there. And uh, 16th notes are four notes per beat. So alternating these will be something like that. It falls under the fingers really well if you respect the fingering, and uh, you'll be able to do that by watching the close up, which is coming right now. Before we learn the sequence, I'm going to show you the full scale we're going to use. We are using a G major scale, G Ionian mode, three note per strings. Let me show you how that's done. Starting on the low E string, third fret, that's our G. We have, again, three notes per string, so that's frets three, five, seven, followed by three, five, seven, followed by four, five, seven, four, five, seven again, five, seven, eight, and five, seven, eight. Three notes per string. Make sure you memorize that before moving on to the sequence. The actual sequence is made of 16th triplets, six notes, and 16th notes, four notes. We're going to learn the first two um, series of these notes. So the first series is six notes. And for these six notes, we're simply going to ascend the first six notes of our scale. That's it. Playing alternate picking here. The next series of notes is the 16th note, so that's four notes. And for that, I'm going to descend four notes. So I'm ascending six, descending four. And rhythmically, it'll be six notes. One, two, three, four, five, six, and then four notes. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. If I loop that, and then it's just a matter of repeating that logic of ascending six notes, descending four, starting on the low E string. And on the fourth string, fifth fret, which is the root. And that's our lick. So it's really important to understand the logic and to have that scale under your fingers and then just apply the logic to that particular scale. Like this video, share it around, and most importantly, subscribe to this channel. Now, click the subscribe button <laughs> because I'm, I'll be back with more content. Not only will I be back, but a lot of other teachers are regularly posting some videos on this channel. Really cool content. You should definitely check it out. And also, if you want to have the tabs for this opening link, you can get them for free. The link is in the description of this video, and that will be able to study that on your own. And most importantly, use it in your own music. Maybe write a solo using that concept. Or maybe go a little further by adding a different rhythm motifs. It doesn't have to be 16th triplets, 16th notes. It really doesn't matter as long as it falls under the fingers well and as long as it's organized in a way that you can remember it and uh, play it according to the formula and uh, the logic behind that sequence. Practice well. I'll see you next time.